Did Megan Good really cut Devon Franklin off completely? <laughs> Word on the street is that Devon is dying to get Megan back, but she has sworn to never take him back and is completely done with him. What on earth did Devon do to mess things up so badly? It's been a year or so since Megan Good and Devon Franklin announced their divorce and left everyone speechless and it's just been a lot for them, especially Devon. This is because he still is hurting like crazy over the divorce and according to several sources, he wants Megan back and he is open to doing almost anything to get her back. But before we go into this latest development, we need to have a conversation about their marriage and why it ended because I need y'all to understand what really went down in the marriage and why there might be some bad blood between them. So Megan and Devon started dating when they met on the set of the rom-com Jumping the Broom. And the sweet thing about their relationship is that Megan was so sure that he was the man for her that she was telling her friends and family that he was her husband been before he even asked her out. This means that she had complete faith that they'd live happily ever after. And this is very important, so make sure you keep this in mind because we're gonna circle back to this later. Okay, so after she got the man of her dreams, after dating, they got married and they stayed married for nine years. And the impressive thing about this is that they had zero scandals during those nine years. And if y'all know celebs, then you know how rare this is because celebs always be in one scandal or another. And most most Hollywood marriages only last a couple of business days, y'all. <laughs> It'd be like that. But just because Megan and Devon were not involved in scandals doesn't mean that their marriage was perfect because there was a lot going on in the marriage that kind of made things hard for them, especially Megan. For one, Devon is a church minister and even though Megan was religious in her own way, she wasn't super religious and as an actress, she sometimes had to take on roles that were not so religious. I mean, it's not surprising because it comes with the job, but some members of Devon's church felt like she was not a great option as a wife or a minister and constantly hated on her. Then there's the fact that they both had to make some heavy compromises for their relationship to work, and this started right from when they first started dating. Megan had to go celibate and give up smoking and drinking, even though that wasn't really her thing before meeting Devon. And to be fair, Megan was not the only one who had to make compromises because as a minister who was married to an actress, Devon had to accept the fact that Megan was always going to be in the spotlight and would take on roles that could be considered provocative. Now, I'm not trying to be shady or anything, but I think we can all agree that religious people can often be very judgmental of other people who they think are not so religious. This was exactly what Megan experienced as a wife of a minister because she got judged and criticized a lot and it was not in a nice or lovely way because people were just downright mean to her. Devon and I got married, I no longer was receiving criticism from just people in the world. I was receiving criticism from people who were Christians brutal attacks I was getting um, on my character, um, on my husband, on different things, so I wasn't ready for that. I can't even imagine what it was like for her to constantly get judged and attacked for nine years straight. Nah, that's just horrible. Oh, and y'all wanna know what the craziest part of this is? It's the fact that she was not only getting judged for what she did in church, but she was also getting judged for her actions outside of church. For example, there's the time that a member of the church tried to humiliate her in public because she felt like Megan's outfit in the grocery store was inappropriate. I was at um, the grocery store and I looked at a newsstand and I saw you and you had your breast show. So we gonna cover up, right? We gonna cover Wait a minute, up. wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 uh-uh. Uh uh, no, that ain't that. Ain't, no, that is not what we're here for. She's not gonna cover up. She's gonna wear what she wanna wear in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 She's gonna wear what she wants to wear in the name of Jesus. Like, homegirl, I know Megan look good, but jealousy is a hell of a thing. And I'm pretty sure homegirl was looking crotchety for her to be talking about what she was wearing in a grocery store. I love the fact that Devon stood up for Megan though and put the hater in her place, but you can imagine being subjected to this almost every single day for nine years. Nah, that's just vile. And the worst part of it is, is that she began to stay away from the church because of this. She used to look forward to going to church, but the comments started getting to her so bad that she started choosing to stay home instead 
did and I don't blame her. Someone commented, I genuinely pray for Megan Good because a lot of people who should be holding her in prayer have been sharpening their knives waiting for this moment. Church ladies can be cruel. This other person tweeted, church women were so mean to Megan Good. And when Megan finally left Devon, one person said, it looks like Megan Good is finally able to embrace her true self and happiness. That man had her trapped in the church, shaking my head. And many people do not know this, but Megan and Devon did not jump straight into divorce because they tried to make their marriage work. They tried a trial separation first and they got separated in August of 2021, a few months before Devon filed for divorce and made it final. So you see why I had to explain to y'all what Megan went through in the marriage and why she is not going to take Devon back. And like I said in the beginning, my boy Devon has been missing Megan a whole lot and sources are saying that he wants to get back together with her like... ASAP. Honestly speaking, I can't blame him because have y'all seen Megan since the divorce? I mean, well, have y'all seen Megan, period? But <laughs> have y'all seen her since the divorce? I mean, she has been slaying on social media. I mean, have y'all seen her Instagram lately? <laughs> Devon is going to have to wait in line because he is not the only one who wants her. And speaking of Devon and his feelings, not long after the divorce, he posted this picture of himself crying and talking about how badly he is hurting from the divorce. I know he was sad when he posted that picture because girl, <laughs> he was clowned so badly online that he deleted the picture after a few hours. Take it from me guys, it's not a great idea to post crying pictures of yourself online because you're definitely gonna get clowned for it. Nobody cares about how badly you hurting after a breakup or divorce and the internet is just wild and mean especially if you are a celebrity but this was not the last time Devon spoke about missing Megan because he recently went on the red table talk with Jada Pinkett Smith and he opened up about how badly he was struggling after the divorce on the other side yeah. of a marriage that did not work the way you thought yeah it, it's it changes everything mm. it's painful you know I just bought a piece of property first piece of property in the contract Mm. Devon Franklin, an unmarried man. Wow. Mm. I might have well that. broken down. Because yeah. I never saw this to moment. When we said I do, there was never a moment when we were thinking I don't. don't. Mm. Yeah. So to live in the I don't, yeah, that's pain. you don't know what it's like until you do. Love or hate Jada, one thing y'all can all agree on is that she really knows how to make people talk on her show. I mean, she spends a lot of time embarrassing Will on the show, but at least she keeps us entertained. So we got to give this woman her flowers here. <laughs> Anyways, Devon's comments about the marriage instantly went viral and had people talking about how he fumbled Megan. But personally, I think his comments had something to do with the fact that Megan recently revealed that she is finally ready to have kids. What do you want next? What is next for Megan Good in life? I want to travel. I want to direct more. I want to do more action. I want to create vehicles for little black girls to show themselves in completely different lights and help support that and uplift that. I want, I don't know, I, I, I want to find my like right house that I'm excited about and um, maybe have a kid. Ooh, that would hurt my heart too because Megan and Devon didn't have kids together for the whole nine years. And that's because she didn't feel like she was ready to have kids yet. And in this 2021 interview, she said, when you say you're not sure you want to be a mom, people look at you like you're a bad person, as if something's wrong with you. But I was never really that girl who said, I can't wait to get married or I can't wait to be a mother. I just was very much a tomboy and started my career so young that I'd always been very business oriented. So I think that him hearing her talk about how she's ready to have kids just made him miss her and want her back even more. According to sources, Devon is open to reconciliation and wants to give things a second try with Megan because he doesn't want to give up on what they had. The source added that Devon is keeping things open and that if Megan even showed the slightest interest in wanting to get back together, he would take her up on her offer in an instant. Ooh child he didn't want her bad but the thing is Megan doesn't want Devon back don't get me wrong she still wants to remain on good terms with him but when it comes to reigniting the flame sources claim that Megan has zero plans to revisit that part of her life she is over and done with it and has no desire to become romantically involved with him ever again the source claimed that she will always care for Devon and have love for him but that the marriage was not serving her 
Ooh, child. When you hear somebody say that part of my life and really care for, however, <laughs> they are over you. <laughs> she is all the way done. Between getting bullied and harassed by the church and feeling trapped as the minister's wife, she didn't exactly have a smooth marriage. And I don't know about y'all, but I know she feels free after the divorce. Like she's finally living the life her own way for the first time in years. And it's like her marriage really did take that away from her. And it looks like people are on Megan's side here because they've been leaving comments like, I don't think he has a chance of getting her back, but damn man, why not try to get her back without the cameras? He doesn't deserve her back since he allowed his congregation to judge her and he listened. He divorced her. He mad cause she didn't get devastated over the loss and she didn't fight in court. He took an L and he set up the L. And they said, this Devon dude comes off as a manipulating liar and user. His popularity is gone since he's not with Megan and she remains thriving. Megan do not go backward with him. Boy, bye. Ouch. If Devon was hoping to get help from the fans to win her back, he is in for a shocker because it doesn't sound like many people even want them to get back together. So it looks like he's all alone on his search for reconciliation. Must be tough. <laughs> but uh, what y'all think about this whole situation, y'all? Put your comments down below. And um, yeah, since you're here, make sure you check out this next video. Peace. Peace.